could see that the bigger cities were looking at ways to make their communities more secure and and they were doing that by what they call the real-time crime center. It was the ability to be ready and uh, reactive in case something happened in their communities. What I really found was if I went and looked, we already owned some of the stuff that could be used for it. We already owned ArcGIS. We already owned servers that we could put information on. We already owned a number of kinds of things that could take unused pieces of their software and put them together to be used. And I said, okay, I want you to adapt this to what I needed to do in the RTCC. So it, it didn't really become a big financial issue. We just needed to take the information we already owned and make it presentable. We collected it for years and we're not using it. What, how silly is that? And there are big numbers of silos of information that you collect every day that you do nothing with. But it's got a little tidbit of information in there to help you solve a crime. The role of a systems integrator like CyberTech is to understand what the business problem is inside the crime center and find a way to integrate the various components into a single system. ArcGIS is one major component, SharePoint is one major component, the Fusion Core solution template is a third major component. And it's not that that information wasn't there, it's just that there's no way to get access to it without waiting days, weeks, or sometimes even months uh, and running through a long, complicated workflow with, uh, with multiple parties involved to get access to it. And now it's at the fingertips uh, through the crime center. The RTCC allows me to determine where I need to put my people. In the past, it's been a hard number count. It's been pin maps. It's been a variety of things that really were hit and miss. This is no longer hit and miss. This is accurate data plotted on the Esri maps that helps determine where I need to put my people at what time of day to have the greatest impact and effect on crime. We've already seen a significant reduction in, in crime. Uh, numbers that are that are clearly calculable. It's all of these systems brought together applied to finding a solution to our various crime problems that allows us to be successful. Our lieutenants are responsible for a community policing area and so they have to know what is happening in those areas and and they've gone through uh, quite a bit of work to try to find where the crime is happening in their area, how they want to deploy their resources, what they want to do with their officers. And so with this information, they get a bigger, better picture of what's happening in their area, and it's all on the map in front of them. They can take that same information to the prosecutor to get a better chance for them to file charges or file information on those suspects. It paints the picture in court. We currently have our complement of, of officers at 144, and there's no way that the city in its current economic situation is going to be able to just continue to add officers year after year. And we have to find ways to handle calls quicker, more efficiently, more effectively. But it's having a, a, an understanding of what mapping can do for you and what information it can give you in planning your day-to-day -day and planning future needs. The crime data can flow automatically into the mapping environment. And then that stuff is available live to officers in the field. There's no longer this this, we're printing hard copies of reports and putting them on detectives' desks, or putting them in shared folders where somebody can access it later. They can see it live as it's being created. And in most cases, the creation of those reports occurs in about two minutes. Average response time for us to these calls is about three to five. So in most cases, we have a product ready to deliver to them before they even receive the call. So they have pictures of the suspects. They have, in some cases, street view pictures of the house they're responding to. Criminal background information on the address or on the people involved. So we're not just flooding them with any available information. It's something that is of value to them relating to the call they're responding on and something that relates to officer safety. There was a lot of questions from people in the community about why do you need this? And you know, and, and is it gonna be worth the money? And, we're saying, well, this is our current crime rate, and people are saying, well, isn't you know 60 crimes per thousand, just as an example, you know, that's pretty good. And it's pretty good unless you're one of those 60 people per thousand. So whatever your number is, you should always be working to make it better or to reduce that number. And I think the Real-Time Crime Center does that. We went from 25,000 calls for service in 1975 with 125 officers to 105,000 calls a year with 144. We didn't go up 400% in personnel, 
but we've had to manage the workload of four times of what we were managing 30 years ago. But at the end of the day, you want me to find the suspect as quickly as I can. You don't want me waiting weeks and months and years and time works against us in every crime, doesn't matter what it is. What this RTCC is doing is it's bringing everything together so that no matter what your expertise is, you're getting the benefit of everything else at the same time and place and you don't have to go look for it because you may not find it, you may not even know it exists. This is force feeding the information to you so you don't forget. It's force feeding you the information so you can do your job quicker and better. Ogden PD is not the largest police department in the state of Utah, but it's an agency that, that saw the light, had you know, inspired leaders like Chief Greiner, uh, who, who said, let's get this done. And uh, they're gonna be an example, I think not only for the state of Utah, but for the whole nation. The real-time uh, mapping, uh, knowing where your officers are, knowing where your felons, your parolees, and your probationers are, uh, knowing who they are and what they are, knowing where warrants are that need to be served on a real-time basis is just incredible and a huge boon to law enforcement.